Hello and welcome to another Bushwhacker review. Today we are going to be taking a look at AJ Foyt's 1965 Ford Galaxy from University of Racing Legends. As always, let's take a quick look at the box right here. Got some nice artwork on the front. Got AJ Foyt 00 1965 Ford Galaxy. This is part of the Riverside Collection. Got AJ Foyt's signature right there, University of Racing Legends. And this is number 17 in the University of Racing Legends series. Down the side you got some real life pictures of the car and AJ Foyt. And you have some of the features of the die cast on the bottom right there. On this side, you got University Racing Legends and Holman Moody Competition Proven. And on the back, you have a nice biography of A.J. Foyt. And on this side, you have the Moon Eyes Double Zero with A.J. Foyt's number double zero. Now you can see the copyright and such on the bottom. Which the fact that the Moon Eyes Double Zero is part of the copyright is going to be important to talk about later. But for now, let's just get down to the car itself. A very, very unique looking car and a very, very unique looking number. This, of course, does come with a few things. You have your little University of Racing Legends biography. And you, of course, come with your little University of Racing Legends certificate of authenticity that comes with every car. A very, very nice looking thing. Wish it was a little bit smaller because I can't really fit these in my cases and I would love to put these in the background of the case, but oh well. But anyways, let's do a quick 360 of the car. Which, if you do not know... In the Darlington Throwback Weekend this year, Cole Custer in the Xfinity Series is running this paint scheme on his number 00 Haas Ford. And Lionel is unable to offer it. They just said they cannot get the licensing for something. They wouldn't tell us what, but I'm pretty sure everyone is in agreement that it's because of the Moon Eyes 00 right there. Which is definitely a shame. Could they just get rid of the eyes in the middle of the Moon Eyes logo? Or the double zeros and maybe make it that way? I don't know. It's definitely a shame that we're not going to get that die cast. That is a cool looking die cast and a cool looking throwback. Would have been great to have with this car right here. But oh well, what can you do? But anyways, let's get down to sponsors and such. On the front, you see each headlight has the Moon Eyes logo in it. And it is just the eyes. It isn't the double zero. It is just fully the Moon Eyes. On the hood, you have Holman and Moody. You've got 427 cubic inches. Down the side, you've got all your retro contingency sponsors right there. You see the wheels are actually a dark blue. That's really nice. Got AJ Ford's name on the door and the Moon Eyes Double Zero on the side. You got Velf's Ford in Torrance, California. And you have that retro Ford logo on the quarter panel. Which, yes, the Cole Custer throwback actually does have that old retro Ford logo on the quarter panel. That is really cool to see. You see the roof number is also the Moon Eyes logo, though it's hard to see the eyes. On the back, you have the Hallman and Moody logo again and not much else. You got the same stuff down the other side as usual. Let's take a look under that hood. See that great University of Racing Legends engine detail? Much better than what we have from Lionel right now. Even has the Hallman Moody logo. Competition proven thing on the side. That is awesome to see. But all those wires and good stuff down there. Take a look under the deck lid. Got your typical fuel cell and such back there. Obviously no roof laps back in this day. Then you can see the inside of the car if you want to see all those gauges and everything. If I can get some light on on that. Very, very nice. And there's the underside of the car if you want to see that. See to say 1965 004 Galaxy AJ Foyt in the back, University Racing Legends, Riverside Collection, all that good stuff. Down there. Another very, very nice looking release from University of Racing Legends. This is one that I've wanted for a while already, just because it's a really cool-looking, unique car with the Moon Eye logos and everything. But then after Cole Custer ran it, I'm like, oh, no, now I think I'm going to have to get that car. And I did buy it, and then Lionel's like, oh, we don't have the licensing for the car. It's like, oh, well, that's kind of ruins it a little bit. But luckily, we still have an amazing classic die cast to enjoy this paint scheme on. I don't know why Lionel doesn't just kind of find a loophole around it to make the die cast kind of the same way they made the Kyle Larson Cars 3 raced one. But I don't know. Definitely a shame we don't get that die cast. Hopefully Cole Custer runs well in it because it is a very, very cool looking car. I'm just happy the University of Racing was able to get the licensing years ago because definitely good to get this car in one way, shape, or form. If you want this car, you're going to have to go to eBay or I think University of Racing Legends probably still has some on their site. Maybe Lionel still has some. Most of the University of Racing Legends stuff doesn't get like insanely rare. They don't lose value. They always stay high up in value, but they don't really disappear crazily quickly. Really, the only University of Racing that's really rare and insanely disappeared by this point is, for some reason, Wendell Scott's number 34. That one goes for hundreds now. I'm not sure why that is the only one that's insanely rare. I would love to have that one, but 
I don't think I'm ever going to be able to afford that one. But anyways, I think that's all ours to say. This has been a review of AJ Foyt's Moon Eyes Ford Galaxy from University of Racing Legends. Hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.